Hello everyone and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. This is episode number, oh god, I'm stuck here. Is it eight? I think it's eight. So yes, we are in the third scenario. We have got a lot done in the last episode. We had a bit of a DIY big build in the last one where we added in this area here and started to put things around the outside. Uh, currently, we've got the anglerfish that we need to put in, the black sea devil anglerfish. Uh, and let me just refresh my memory. Let's go and have a look. I don't, I don't think it's actually in here, is it? I think it's, I think it's one of the ones in my message board, isn't it? Where are you? There you are. You're there. Uh, so these things need an abyssal tank. Um, don't think they need a great dose, other than they need quite a lot of attention. Have we got any other animals that we left in there? Or oh, we still got, yeah, we still got viper fish and sea pigs. So we need three more abyssal tanks. Um, okay. I mean, we could probably get, we could probably sneak two in there. Not sure about a third one though. Uh, let's just let's just line this up, maybe. Um, we might get all three in there. They're gonna have to. We have to put them fairly close together, but I think it's possible. I think we can get all three to go together there. I'm gonna need to extend this one just back a little though. Uh, how much money have we got? 24,000. I think that's enough to, in theory, build all three because the abyssal tanks have so little actually in them. So we need two small abyssal ones. Like so. We can probably, we can probably get rid of that door and put the door the other side. Like that. Or actually, no, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let us... That back in. We'll put the door in, in between these tanks once they're done, and then a ver oh my god, a vertical one. So we'll put those two next to each other, like so. Put that there, and then have a door in there. I feel like we should now move this one along one. Maybe instead we have the door just on the edge there. And get rid of get rid of the door. Okay, right. This is now going to be interesting. So we are absolutely not going to be able to, to use anything in here. So we're going to have to go back to putting stuff over here, which is kind of frustrating because that was sort of the point of, uh, of why we did that middle room. But we'd have to make that considerably bigger now to be able to do these uh, these three here. Which is a shame, but you know it still keeps things quite tidy over here, so it's not a it's not a complete disaster, I suppose. So in the meantime, I think we are probably going to have to go back another layer as well now. Uh, right, let us let's get the viper fish into here. We've got plenty of money still. Not worried about that for the moment. And we're going to stick the Antarctic sea pigs in there and then finally we will put now then are these big enough is the question doesn't meet the depth requirement so this needs to be a bigger tank tank depth is two oh fuck me that needs six So how big is this tank now going to have to be? Are we going to have to extend a little bit this way then? Maybe, maybe we. Uh, okay. Well, this sort of may help with a bit of a, a bit of the remodeling thing that we're trying to do here. So how deep can these things go? Or does it have to be a vertical one? So when you look on these guys. Does it say it has to be a vertical abyssal tank or just that it has to be an abyssal tank? No. Okay, fine. So they need a vertical abyssal tank as well. Right, we're going to move these machines over there. the right way round. It is now. OK, 
Okay, right, there we go. So now... Do that. And now, in theory, we, if we wanted to, we could now put said door over here. Okay, uh, so... These guys will now... Go into there. We have 17,000 now. Okay, so... I mean, I guess we can probably do the same thing now. We can have a... Uh, a big... Have we got the... Oh, we haven't got the, the big pump here yet, which is kind of irritating. Okay, well, we will have to... We will have to redo these pumps as and when everything sorts itself out we get that uh, uh that whatever they, is this a clock what's it what's this even called the large pump okay mega chiller on that we add that one to it as well does that cover us for both not quite Okay, that's plenty cold enough. Uh, what sort of... 80 and 60. We might get away with just a large double filter here, actually. Yeah, we will. Okay, that's good. Um, these guys need checking every day. Uh, clipboard dispenser. They need checking. No, oh, they all need bloody checking. Do these things... I don't know if these need... A, I don't know. I'm going to leave them there. But we've obviously... We've got one up here. And I don't think they need to necessarily be attached to the... Uh, to the actual unit themselves. I don't think so anyway. Uh, right. This one just needs... This is only a chilled one. This isn't a, a fully, uh, fully frozen one. Can we therefore... Go with that? Will that be enough? Thinking about it, not quite. Uh, where is our? That have to get us over the edge. It is magic. Consumes two hundred and six science points. We only we're only getting a hundred and eighty one back, so we're actually losing science with that one. Uh, let's kind of rubbish what about these ones okay we're but we're making we're making it back on those ones fairly comfortably that one these guys are massive they're very very uh, pop popular these ones uh is that risk of death because its care requirements are not met what is the problem what are you struggling oh well, we need this one needs to be even bigger okay oh and now I <laughs> now i've got them in there i can't move them out okay so does that mean then I'll just put that there for a second. It needs to be something like that. Right, let's transfer you into there, you into there, you into there. Right. Are you all happy now? Yes, that is the right that's the right size tank. That is one big ass tank. Okay, we're going to add that there so they can't see through. Um, can see from that side though, if they want to. Uh, right, let's connect that to that. That may not now be enough, actually. No, it is not. Do that though, that should be. There we go. Right, food wise, uh, sand shrimp again. Put those there. Get rid of that, and then we'll have. That's a zooplankton, isn't it, that they need to get out of that? 
Right, okay. Uh, what is your problem? Aggressive territory behavior. This one's not big enough either. Fantastic. Ideal. We can move. We can probably move this one along one more spot, can't we? Do that. There we go. So people can now get behind. Uh, we certainly don't need all this space, do we? Um. Right. We add that tank. What does that do now to the requirements? I suspect not enough. No. 352 is needed. So that one needs to go. And another one of those goes on the top. That should be enough. Right. Okay. Jesus Christ, we got there. Let's block that off. Um, which was this one? Was it, Which was the one? So it's now not quite making it back. And do these need so do these need certain spaces? They don't. So we could add in some stuff in there, you know. For extra for, for extra science. Have we got anything in here we can add in for extra science? Or is this all this is all prestige, isn't it? Okay, nothing in there to go in there for science. Okay, alright, well that used a fairly big chunk of money. Uh one thing we also need to do now, let's just pause there for a second. Where is our Zone 4 is there, isn't it? Um, right, that should, in theory, cover everything we wanted to. Now then, the problem is, is that we've got what are you doing, Xavier? What did I tell you to do? So you're doing feeding. So are you. I may need another one. Have I got anyone in zone 4 doing fixing? Is it just those two? Stop! They're only doing... Okay. Ah, oh, that's because I had people in there. They were doing the fixing, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So whoever's inside that zone in the middle there. I don't think they can overlap, though. That This is the problem. I guess if we just do this, they don't need to overlap particularly. Because in zone 5, yeah, it's all about fixing. So that, in theory, should be okay. Okay. That in cover? That is in, that is in cover. Right, okay. That, in theory, should be covered. So, zone 5 now, people doing all the repairing in there. They are also going to start repair, use, to repair these. Um, I think we need one more person for zone 4 and 5. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, one for you. And we've got one of the sharks. Then we get the blonde skate. Where was the guy? The fixing there. Right. Uh, new people. Kel. You're the one who was good at feeding. You're going to come into zone four. And Omar, you are the one who's good at fixing. So you're going to come in and be part of zone five. There we go. Right, there we go. Um, Cow. Where did I put you again? Sorry, this is all very... So much going on. Uh, just to be absolutely sure you're not doing any of that. Thank you. And Omar, uh, the opposite. I'm not doing any of that either. Uh, 
Uh, hang on a second. What's happening here? Why is this... That one? Oh, hello. Oh, it can't reach now. Okay. Good thing I noticed that before they all started dying. Um, that is a problem. So where does that need to be moved to before it will get, in, get within reach? Okay. There for a second. We can't move this anywhere because it has to be attached to something. Okay. Um, this is going to be tricky now, isn't it? Because just because of the sheer size of that tank. Okay, that should be enough for that. I need to get to 70%, so I need something pretty extraordinary. I need I need the large double filter, really. Can we... Can it go there? Okay, it will go there. Okay, that works. Are they all okay? Right, that fixes it. Lovely. Okay, crisis averted. Crisis averted. Right, these guys are hungry. Only missed out by a day. They're okay at the moment. Power pump is done. Um, in reality, in hindsight, actually, the triple filter might actually be quite a good bet. I think we need a fourth person, you know, doing this feeding. Because so many of them all, so many of them also need um, uh, the clipboards. Okay, that might still be that might still be overkill, but there is there's a lot of tasks. Because it's not just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's nine tanks they've got to look after. How much food do they? How much food do these damn things eat? Are these are these greedy fish? I mean, they're not. That's. I think I've seen two. Uh, trying to do it. Let's have a quick watch because I think she's about to go and feed. How many of these two Pacific Viper fish is this going to feed? Oh my god, this is taking a while. The units are up your skills. I did do both of them. Okay. And now they're doing another one. Interesting. All right. Well, I mean that's that's them taken care of. Uh, what, what's what's up with you? Oh no, they're scavengers. Oh, I forgot about this. Right? Can. There's so much to do. <laughs> so much going on. Right. You're a bully. That's not good. They will pester they will they will pester wimps, but these guys aren't wimps apparently. Okay. Can they go in there? That when they get fed, when was the when was the last time they were fed? Two days ago. That's not ideal. There's every chance all three of them could die. I don't know how long they can survive without food.
Good news, however, is that I no longer need that. So we might be able to now have this like this. We can kill off. The need for this. Don't need that. Because I think Okay, we still need Okay. Let us let's delete that. We're gonna place Does that reach the second tank? Oh, for goodness sake! <laughs> Sometimes it's so weird and unintuitive. Right. Put a third mega chiller there. Okay. Now. One like that there. And in theory. be enough. It will. Just the one of those is enough. In which case then, can we be cheeky? No, not that one. That one. Not quite. Not quite. Or could we... No, because that's going to be... This could, this could be this could be a bit naughty this one. I've got an idea. Stick with me. Stick with me. I'll stick that in there. Why do, I don't understand why I have to tell it which pump to be uh, linked to. There we go. Okay. That works. Right. Okay, right, we've worked that around. Now, it's just a case of, will these sea pigs stay alive long enough? To get some food for tomorrow. Completely forgot they were damn scavengers. That's really irritating. Um... some OJ. Love a bit of OJ. Right, I think it sorts all the, uh, the zones out. Right. We need to make this one a priority, please. The sea pigs are still going. <laughs> They're still eating. They're still not eaten, sorry. But they were still with us. Come on, the sea pigs. Right. Dakota, this is you. It is your responsibility to come and save these sea pigs before they perish. Uh, well, we've also got some of them growing up. We've got some more duck eggs. Verity has leveled up. Uh, you're clearly a feeder, so we'll whack you in for some more feeding. Okay, one more day of... Uh, observing the uh, Black Sea Devils, and we should be good. That's all the fish now unlocked, all the different species. Check out the sea pigs, they're all healthy. Okay, crisis averted, just. We are okay. Right, well, that's this corner all looking rather busy, but that is now up to date and working. Um, one thing, actually, can we see how many people we've got in our aquarium right now? Where's, uh... It just says entrance tickets, doesn't it? It doesn't tell us how many we've 
how many people we've actively got in our aquarium right now. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something that is possible to be able to tell. I don't recall actually ever seeing something like that. I mean, it gives us a, a feeling of, of what they want and what they dislike. Uh, right. Money is thankfully building up again. Uh, we've now got uh, the tasseled wobble gong shark. Uh, are you a bully? They will eat animals 1 to 17 when fully grown. This will grow up to 44 in size. That is huge. And what does a huge shark need? A huge tunnel tank is what it needs. Wow, look how big you can make that. That's insane. Um, I feel like I want to take the guests on that journey. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, oh, we've got penguins. Wonderful work for the next animal. The licensing agency is asking for more proof of your husbandy credentials. They want you to breed. Uh, sorry, they want you to breed an Adi Adili. Adelie penguin. Is that it? Adelie? Uh, you have to access Adelaide already at this rank, but to access the aquascaping required to breed them, you'll need to rank up. Uh, Adelaide won't breed until they're fully grown, so you should build an Adelaide tank now so that you're ready to breed them once you rank up. Alrighty, there we go. Oh, hang on. No, we've got to, got to choose them. We've almost ranked up to rank 10 anyway, which is good. Um, so what are we going to do here then? What are we going to do here? That is the big question. Do we take them downwards, down here? Or do we take them maybe over here? Because what we could do is completely block this off. Let's hope that uh, that group there and any of these people weren't together because I've just completely blocked them off. And then what we do is we delete all of these. Uh, we can delete that because we've got a bin there. That's fine. And then let's just, uh, for the moment, let's just extend this so that we've got a bit of room to play with. And this large tunnel tank. That is crazy big. That is madness. Absolute madness. All right, we probably need to extend out like this. And then what we do is we buy... Buy that. Uh, we need a floor arrow pointing them that way. eventually they'll get there won't they um and then yeah that can be our our shark enclosure and we're gonna make this one be the absolute centerpiece let's just stick them there for now get them out of the way uh we're gonna make this the absolute centerpiece of our aquarium now we do have to be a little bit careful we've got nine thousand. how much of these things these are a thousand each 44 432 we can have we gonna be very careful though because this is by far the biggest tank we've ever had or i've ever done on it on this game even in the first uh, game i don't think i ever had a, a, a tank that was this big maybe i did maybe i didn't um but if we fill this up heavily with big sharks i'm thinking we maybe put three in there the trouble is is that when these get full grown it takes 19 days to go full grown, 7 days to get to 24. When they get full grown, the problem is, is that they're going to eat each other. If I put any more in, so I kind of need to put in a bunch now. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's put 5 in there. Let's put, let's leave 5 in there. That will be plenty big enough. We don't want to go mad in this tank. Um, that's absolutely fine. Okay. I mean, we, it might even come to the point, you know, if we start having these similar problems where you have certain animals that grow so big but then you want to put other animals in there we might need like a couple of tanks 
behind the scenes that you just have for like breeding not uh, growing purposes like incubation tanks almost and then once they're big enough then transfer them in um right yeah there you can see look 432 from a heating perspective and 75 from a low water from a water quality perspective that is going to be quite severe thankfully that is only two mega heaters i believe Uh, I do you know what I think we should we should look to combine these uh, No, we want that one a little bit more in the corner Like so uh, Right we want mega heater mega heater mega heater Delete that delete that Right, is that enough heat? Yeah, plenty plenty of heating. That is absolutely fine. Okay, now if we delete that and that. I just gotta keep a close eye on money here. Um may just need to go back one space. Okay, and now if we see that even that one of those mega filters is not enough. Let me put that in and that should be. I wonder, can we get away with like that? Seventy six is fine that this one though is obviously it's gonna it's only 76 right now that's gonna need a lot more isn't it i think we have to go uh for the the mega one because when those sharks get bigger that's gonna be a bit mad right um okay these are gonna need to okay we need to move that one not even sure that's enough actually just because of I think they can now get to that just in that corner that should be okay uh, right okay that's that sorted uh, I'm gonna stick that one there and that one in so there's a little bit of space uh, stairs it's the biggest one we've ever had to do. That's three levels high. Um, I can put... Put this kind of in the middle of the room, can't we? And then... Uh, is it crabs? Is that what it is? Crab is indeed crab. Okay. Wow, there we go. We just made it money-wise. We just, just did it. Money really does just fly away when you're uh, making some of these larger build buildings. Hey, this is Janar from San Yoto Aquarium. A pair of our puffins just spread. We don't have space in our exhibit, but perhaps you'd like to start your own puffin display. The eggs will need to be air-conditioned and kept with their parents at all times during the incubation. Are you up to the challenge? Build a tank with uh, two Atlantic puffins. Get some puffin eggs. Meet all their requirements. We shall try our best, sir. Oh, we've got to put the puffin eggs in with them. Uh, showcase poster. If you're looking to generate extra prestige, try a showcase poster. Once placed, attach the showcase poster to a tank... Uh, to create a new attraction for guests. Showcase posters generate prestige based on the most prestigious animal in the attached tank. Uh, guests can enjoy only the one showcase poster during their visit, so choose which tank you attach it to wisely. Okay. Um, flyers such as Atlantic Puffins require perch to sit on. Yeah, that's fine. So our first birds. Uh, right, we just need to keep the money rolling in. I know that these guys are not going to be massively happy right now because of the... Uh, are you doing everything in here? Or have we got somebody who's... What zone is this? 
This is zone three. Okay, and then zone two now needs to... There's a gap in the wall. Right, that should cover. So we've got, did I say it was two people in zone two? Fixing and... No, not zone two. That's not what I wanted, was it? It was zone three. Yeah, so Ulrika is in there, along with you, so that we should be fine in there. I think one person should be able to cover all of that lot. That's fine. Right, let's keep going, because we need to bring in some more Dosh, because we need to uh, now begin to pad this out with uh, some more stuff. Uh, take medium polar domes. We might need that for the, uh, for the puffins and for the penguins. Okay, uh, let's just keep moving here. So we need... Is it? Is it the, it's the caves, isn't it? Um, we have indeed ranked up to rank number nine. Uh, large triple filter massage chair, sh Chicago tank, UV sterilizer removes pathogens from the water, allowing the most sensitive species to be kept in smaller tanks. Nice, and we've got some more bits and pieces up there. Cool. Um, meanwhile, um, do a bit of that, um, we can have one, one gaping cavern actually, can't we? No, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that either. Can I just, can I just select the damn tank? Just do that, then... We can use the gaping cavern. Oh, we don't have enough money. How much is it? 2,402. Well, with the amount of people we've got in our aquarium right now, it shouldn't take us long to get to that point. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there, job done. Okay, right, so our sharks are now perfectly happy. But I think we should also add in some other bits and pieces as well. To make this very much the centerpiece, as I said. Didn't we, uh, didn't I say that there was one thing we could, we never, we were never able to have? Oh, it was the palm tree. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was something else, I can't remember. Um, anyway. This is easily going to be the most decorative. I mean, I'm being a bit random with this and just kind of putting in everything and everything. But this tank is going to generate so much uh, for this uh, for this aquarium. Right, we back in some sea grapes, so we ain't got any room for that. Uh, let's now put in some random stuff. We've got some of the new stuff we can put in, haven't we? Have we got? Uh, we've got a canoe that can go in. Go in there. Um, uh, we could put a lantern in. We're minus monies at the moment. Can go in there. And... There we go. I think that looks amazing. So after all that is said and done, we are generating, what's it going to, is it 635 signs this is generating. Absolutely incredible stuff. Now, I don't know about you, but that deserves a walkthrough. Look at that. It's gonna look even more amazing when these uh, when these bad boys are fully grown. Uh, right, what we do need to do though is 
think we can go one step even further, you know. Oh, it doesn't paint the outside of the... Uh... Oh, that's so rubbish. It doesn't paint the outside of the tank. The blue bit. Oh, that's so rubbish. Okay, whatever. Uh, right, inside. We go like that. I sort of don't... Do you know what? This is. These are tropical... Uh, these are tropical things, right? So I'm thinking maybe we should have something different. Pirate Cove. Is that, is that a Pirate Cove theme? Doesn't look very piratey to me. Um, maybe shipwreck. Yeah, we'll do that instead. Right, and then what does it what does it say about the uh, the poster thing? Where where did we see that? Where, or where do we find it, rather? Uh, I don't know where it is. Showcase poster. Let's, oh, let's showcase an animal. It's fine. Oh, we have to unlock it. Okay, fine. Uh, all right, Seota could not grow up because he's... Uh, probably run out of space we probably should do something about um uh about the you can learn gift shop emma why do i feel like you're our talker emma are you the person that's going around doing all the talking yes you are oh i just clicked the wrong thing damn it okay eight thousand if we fix that one and do that one uh, you can upgrade feeding yes i know you couldn't grow up Okay, they've grown up as well. Right, and what was the other thing? Okay, right, so we've got a problem with our otters, which are over here. Is that because they've just run out of space? They have just run out of space in there. Uh, right, let's sell one of the cuttlefish. Okay, so that means he's now bigger. Can he grow any bigger okay I think they're now both full size I think we're good uh, Javier be nice if it gave you a display of where they are right now and what they're what I told them to do because I keep having to refer back to this every time uh, you're in zone 4 and you're feeding uh, however Oh, hang on. Is it just because that needs, needs repairing? That that's why that water quality's just dipped a little bit? I presume it must be. Uh, is it? I don't think it is. Uh, right, okay. Let's get rid of that. Triple filter doesn't get us close either. Um, well, damn. Okay, we're going to have to do some more Tetris work in here, I think. Because I cannot get... Uh, I cannot get that to the right water level. So do we go... Okay, right, we're going to have to play... I'm not even sure I can really with this. So I think what I'm going to have to do... One mega chiller. It's 112. 
or do I? Yeah, I think I do. I need, do you know what I need? I think I need just a little bit more room. I think with just a, just a smidge more room, I think I can, I think I can do this. Like that there. And then we have a large double filter. Is that enough? It is enough, lovely. In actual fact, that can now just s scooch into the corner. This a long one. Right, off and running again. Fixing little problems here and there. Micromanaging the shit out of this right now. Um, okay, well, uh, I think, do you know what? I think I'm going to end there because it feels like we've got quite a lot of things to do uh, now. So we've got, uh, we've got the showcase poster. We've got the puffins. And we've got the penguins all to do in fairly short order. So uh, I am going to uh, finish this episode here. Slightly shorter than the last one, but we had to do a little bit of reorganizing over there. Put in a couple more abyssal tanks. Um, we've resorted in here. And we've also smashed together this tank over here. Looks like I was right. Can't unfortunately get to that one. so unintuitive some of the uh, the button clicking at times on this it's really quite frustrating uh actually what we could have done is leave that in the corner because i can't like it in the corner um and then done that Uh, yes, so that is what we'll do. So thank you very much everyone for watching. Uh, we will see you in the next episode where we will finish this off um, and we'll find out if we've got any more left to do in this scenario. Given the size of this aquarium already and the fact that we're about to put in three more species of fish, we've still got uh, the emperor anglefish to put in and we've got uh, the blonde skates as well. So we've actually still got a fair chunk of uh, species left to put into the aquarium so thank you very much everyone for watching and we'll see you all in episode number eight or nine or ten or whatever it is next see you then